Hello guys, it is I Retro Dude. Right, I'm going to show you a very cool, very easy, super easy tutorial. It's how to hook up your Nintendo Switch to an adapter HD capture card or box, if you will. So you see this HDMI? That is the input. So you want? Let me just focus that. Come on, focus. Right. This is the HDMI in, so you want to put your Nintendo Switch HDMI in here. So I'll show you how that works. Just put it in here like so. Just put it in like that. There you go. It's all hooked up to the console. Now we'll obviously switch it on just to see if it works. It should do anyway. And it's on that screen, so that's really good. So now I just need to go over to the PC. Right, here is your uh, interface for Elgato HD. You could obviously download this for free on any website. You can use it from Google, Firefox, whatever your heart's content. Alright, here we are. Here's the layout. It's very simple. It's great for capturing footage on Nintendo Switch. So I will show you the basics. This is your record button. So when you once you click this, you can record the whole game like this. So I'll show you an example before then. Let's go to the options for Game Hatter HD. Go up here in the top, top right hand corner. See this little cock here? Show device settings. Right, you can screen cap this if you want. So pay attention to this top bit up here. It's very important. Input 1920 by 60 progressive. And see this little number here? That's 3.7 and that's on the good setting. Right, so obviously HDMI color, keep to expanded. Profile is about HD 1080, that's good. I basically allows 60 frames per second, that's FPS. So the quality changes. So what happens if I move this? You'll see it will change the size, file size, goes up and up. And this is quite da this is quite uh, alarming for some people because they'll probably say, oh whoa, the file's too big. And you know why? Because if you put it up to best, you know what will happen? It will drain it would uh, take longer to compile the video so I would say no don't put it on best put it about about here to here it's it's probably your safe bet because that will eat up less space and it will change the video quality um, depending but I would say just 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 experiment about one to two but please, obviously keep it on good good is the best setting alright then so uh, you would know that now from me so there you go so right we'll show you a game I'll show you a gameplay footage that I want to so if you want to capture a game so let me just pause this for a second get myself ready right all you do is press the uh, record button right here and then off you go and then there you go just play around and you'll see the good result in the end so you might want to obviously if you want to put your add your own voiceover you will click the uh, commentary icon in the bottom right and it will turn blue so keep your audio level for your for your um, speaking about say about 50 to 60 and the gameplay footage audio you want to keep about maybe around 35 to 44 um, Just experiment and um, sometimes the game audio might be a bit louder than your voice So you might have to alter your alter your um, gaming track levels just to keep on par with your voice and What I would recommend is you do a test video of yourself with a gameplay footage and that would help so Yeah, just experiment with that and then stop the recording it'll save to your hard drive here is the final video right stop stop creating some awesome content on youtube and twitch if you like this video guys remember to please like comment and subscribe and as Rich says retro forever sunny out happy gaming people